slightly famous people from Arcadia. This is great. We are now being followed. We are now being followed by the the, the TXTV van, right? Absolutely. TXTV. TXTV. Have been out of the country for such a long time? I don't know what's going on. All that later, but now let's hand over to Steve. Haven't seen much of Duran Duran around lately. Have no, we? we haven't actually. With the exception of the James Bond theme, Duran Duran fans have been starved of new Duran material for nearly a year. But there have been compensations. John and Andy Taylor have resurfaced as the power station, and now Simon Le Bon, Nick Rhodes, and Roger Taylor have collaborated on a new project, Arcadia. Their first single is in the shops now. It's Election Day. You might have heard Grace Jones' voice somewhere in the middle there. We hope to have her new video next week. Anyhow, earlier this week, I found myself in London and, as you'll see, realised every young girl's dream by sitting in the back seat with Simon Le Bon. But first, I caught up with Nick Rose at the Hamilton Gallery in London's West End and asked him about the new single. Well, Election Day, I think, uh, was the obvious first single for us. And we'd sort of heard it for a long time and maybe gotten used to it a little bit. Uh, but when, when it was released, um, just a few days ago, in fact, uh, some of the things that people were coming out with, I mean, like, they, I don't think people can come to the terms with the fact that the arrangement of the song is so radically different to, um, to most of the other things we've done. I mean, you usually have a verse and a chorus and a middle and then an out chorus or whatever. It's not arranged like that at all. Bye-bye, how are you? <clears throat> this is my family. This is my family by 40 different women all over the world. <laughs> Actually, that makes me about three women. You're it. <laughs> Bye, Sam. Okay. Whoops. Simon, not only, you are right you in, not only are you incredibly popular, you're also very elusive. I've been hunting you all around London. Know, you're very I've busy. To do today, so what have I... you been up to today? Oh, none of your business. <laughs> but what's it about? Election Day sounds political. Uh, it's not really so political. It's more about a day of decision, really. Uh, it was just a, a vague idea that Simon had that uh, one, every day some, you have to make X amount of decisions or whatever, and some days those decisions are very important and very difficult to make. I mean, it could be taken in many different ways. It could be a sexual metaphor. It could be just a metaphor for life. It could be politics. I heard um, somebody play this... this they, they played the record and afterwards they, the guy said, now here's somebody who'll definitely be, be buying the record and Margaret Thatcher's voice come on. And he goes, I think it could be my election day. <laughs> it was really funny. <laughs> well, the video is very much um, meant to be a little surreal. It's an abstract sort of statement that fits together with the music instead of making a very uh, linear video with a nice little story that fits with the song. We decided to uh, go the other direction and make something that was more of a collage, really, of images that some are uh, slightly relative to the song and maybe others drift off in a different direction. We just felt that there's so many videos now that uh, are being shown all the time that give away everything in the song and leave nothing to people's imagination that you're even listening to something on the radio and you've just got this vision sort of floating above your head like, a, like one of those little devils with a prong that you know shows you exactly what's, uh, what's on the video for that song and we didn't want this one to be like that. Are you pleased so far with what with what you've done with Arcadia? Yeah, I think it's brilliant. I'm really happy with it. Great. Yeah. I think style's always been a very large part of youth culture. I mean, I grew up in a period that I guess was known as glam rock, which was David Bowie and Roxy Music and Cockney Rebel and people like that. And they always used to wear the most amazing sort of costumes and things. And I always remember when I was a kid, I really enjoyed it. Um, going to see them, and they put on a performance. Do you enjoy all this getting around, promoting huh? and uh, PR work? Well, yes and no. I mean, it's not when you extraordinarily good-looking, attractive, interesting people like you, then then it's. Um, That's Simon. They put the camera on you. It's not a big moment. Simon comes sticking his tongue down his throat. No, anyway. Um, Be no, serious. I, I, I was absolutely serious. Well, no, I don't know get, what to well, no, you get, you get interesting interviews. I mean, let's face it, driving around London in the back of a Range Rover was sort of a bit of a different way to do it anyway. <clears throat> um, have you seen the looks we're getting from people on the street? But uh, um, sometimes it gets a real pain in the neck because you get asked the same questions over and over and over again. And I'm sorry about that. 
Oh, sorry, it's okay. In case it's I do, okay. I mean. You've asked a few, actually. <laughs> Have I? Oh, yeah. dear. Oh. What I understand well, you got from my readings, readings, though. Thank you very much. I like yours, too. You do? Can we Good. Get closer I've to the got earrings? to tell you the story well, behind this. So why have you changed your image so much for Arcadia? I mean, Simon's had his hair cut and you've all got black hair now. Well, because I think Arcadia's a, a fresh sort of project and it needed something, uh, some, something new, really. I mean, it isn't a Duran Duran record by any means and uh, I don't know, we've always sort of changed. I think it's, it's good to have that sort of palette in front of you. That, that you can move around. It's, it wasn't any specific reason, I don't think, really. It was just felt like time for a change. Um, the earring. <clears throat> the earring, yeah, she gave it to me because I said I like, because I said I saw her wearing one in Paris and she said she'd get me one. So she did yesterday, great, eh? Oh. You only get things like that if you ask for You just for got one? Yeah. Oh, that one's, what was this one? It's different. I know, but what's the story behind that one? Oh, I can't tell you that. Right, we're here, gotta go. Oh, so soon? I'm sorry, yeah. I'm have time. to go. Yeah, I was supposed to leave at six. Okay. Well, that was a pleasure. Thank you very much. It was much, a Simon. pleasure, absolutely. I enjoyed that. I'm sorry I... we didn't have longer. No, no problem. And I'm sorry you couldn't make it to the gallery. Okay, th I'm sorry as well. That's my, I'm sorry to let you down, but I've enjoyed this you very much been, indeed. It's been good fun. Okay, thanks, All guys. All the best with our Ciao. See ya. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think Simon gave you a lot of help there, did he really? No, he was, he was very, very rushed. You see, I should have met him in the gallery. He was very busy, and so suddenly I was whisked off into a car, surrounded by girls, and suddenly in he popped, and there we were. Oh, and off see. we went. But Nick Rhodes was very nice, I thought. He was absolutely delightful, yes. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, Ali! Yeah. Thank you.